What's up guys? It's your boy I'm Nick Ark here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day or night so far. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the ending of season nine and the beginning of season ten. I'm gonna show you guys the best theory that someone has come up with. I'm telling you guys this theory is spot on and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do in any way, shape, or form, I'd really appreciate if you dropped a like on the video. And I want you guys to let me know your theories down below in the comments. What do you think is going to happen with this event or the end of season nine, the beginning of season ten? Because I love reading people's theories. I want to know what you think down below in the comments and with all that said i'm just gonna get right into the theory let's get right into it Alrighty guys, so grab your popcorn, grab your pop tarts, and we're going to be talking about this theory. By the way, I'm going to link the Reddit link down below in the description, guys. Go check it out. Give it an upvote. Everything like that. It is truly an amazing thing, and Epic Games should definitely hire whoever wrote this. It starts off by saying, my predictions for the Caddis vs. Doggis event in Season 10. If you guys don't know, the Caddis is the monster, and the Doggis is the giant robot that they are currently building. So it starts off by saying this, the event will most likely happen on the last day of the season after both the World Cup and birthday events have ended. An LTM is released 30 minutes before the battle which will be titled Victory Royale. To go with the timer, I'll put a picture on the screen right now if you guys don't know what that means. And then it says, there will probably be no description to the LTM and the picture will just be the countdown which will count down in real time. The LTM should be kept the same as the Showtime slash Unvolting LTM if you guys don't know the Showtime was with the Marshmallow event and the unvolting was with the unvolting event. So I'm going to stop talking in between. I'm just going to explain the theory and stop talking in between. So it says the timer hits zero and we will watch the anticipation as the robot flies out of the volcano and circles the island. A message appears on screen saying to get to the sky platforms and everyone obtains jetpacks and infinite materials. What happens next is a massive tsunami as the caddis creature rises from the depths. It has much larger than the robot and easily destroys it. The monster reaches the shore and supply drops land at all the sky platforms containing gold RPGs and gold ARs. By now, the entire northwestern corner of the map is underwater and still being covered. Phase 2 of the event has begun. A second message appears on screen to attack the monster with everything you have. A health bar appears at the top of the screen and the creature rushes towards each sky platform. The monster has too much health and it's heading towards the final sky platform. But before it hits, the airstrike alarm sounds and a nuke is dropped on the creature. It hits, the creature dies, but so do the remaining players in the lobby. We lost. Downtime begins now, no flashy trailer, no map changes announced, just weapon changes. They do not even talk about the battle pass. When downtime ends, however, something feels very wrong. Instead of season 10, the battle pass and all the promotional say season 1. It isn't actually season 1 stuff, it's a new battle pass and everything just called season 1. When you load into a solos match, you see an entirely new map, a Neo world, just as the tier 92 music track said. Welcome the season one we're old is the new again and i want to read that last part one more time it says welcome to season one we're old is the new again so this theory, in my opinion, is super good. I like it a lot, so I hope you guys did as well. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on the video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, if you have any theories of your own, let me know down below in the comments. And for all you guys that made it this far into the video, I'm going to let you guys in on something. If I see a theory that's super good, super spot on, and I like it, I might make it into its own video. So make sure they're super good. Let me know your theories down below in the comments. And as well, your thoughts on the theory I just told you. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. If you're new, as always, I would love to have you on this channel. And you will not be disappointed by subscribing. And with all that said, have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow with a couple brand new uploads, and I cannot wait to see you guys there. The Minecraft Let's Play will be out tomorrow on my second channel. Peace.